Now to the latest with suspended state attorney Andrew Warren's fight to get his job back. Warren was suspended last month after Governor DeSantis accused him of neglect of duty. Both sides were in court today as Warren tried to get an injunction to return to work. But a federal judge denied that, instead saying he wants the case to go to trial and quickly. Our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders joining us live from Tallahassee with more on this. Forrest, this isn't going to be resolved anytime soon, right? Absolutely correct. And you know, the judge today, he wanted to make sure that he was taking his time asking questions for more than an hour of both uh, sides of this case. Uh, but despite him uh, reaching a decision today and denying Warren that uh, ability to return to his job, uh, this case is far from over. Northern District Judge Robert Hinkle didn't rule on the merits of the case Monday. Instead, the Clinton appointee wanted more evidence from the governor on what led to the suspension, perhaps even a deposition. The judge also worried granting a preliminary injunction could disrupt work in Hillsborough County, where a new prosecutor, Susan Lopez, is already at work. I will faithfully execute the duties of this office. Ultimately, Hinkle wanted a trial as soon as possible for a more definitive answer. I'm going to go home and uh, say hi to my wife. Then I think we're, um, we're going to wait for the written ruling to come out. It wasn't what Warren was hoping for, who alleges DeSantis violated the First Amendment and exceeded his authority. The prosecutor, however, took it in stride. The judge was very clear. He wants to get this right once and for all. So we look forward to a trial where the governor can come in and explain his decision and explain to the court why he thinks what he did was in compliance with uh, federal law and state law. DeSantis suspended Warren after he signed pledges to not prosecute violations of Florida's 15-week abortion ban or criminalize gender-affirming care. Warren called them free speech. We are suspending state attorney Andrew Warren effective immediately. The governor considers those statements neglect of duty. In an executive order, he suspended Warren after this August 4 press conference. We don't elect people in one part of the state to have veto power over what the entire state decides on these important issues. Attorneys for the governor argue Warren has no First Amendment right as a public official to declare that he would not perform his duties. In a Monday statement, DeSantis' office said it was, quote, pleased with Hinkle's decision and reaffirmed its position that the governor, quote, may suspend elected officials in Florida who refuse to enforce the law. But it will be Hinkle who makes the final decision on that in the forthcoming trial. A timeline hasn't yet been set. Now, we are going to wait to see what the attorneys come up with as far as scheduling, but we know that the plaintiffs say they can be ready in as soon as four weeks. Attorneys for the governor, however, saying it could take as long as three months. So that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. That is the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.